damn well that if you are watching this right now and you have a Twitter account, then there are definitely some tweets in your Twitter drafts that never made the cut. You know when you go to tweet something and you're like, ah, maybe I shouldn't post this today or maybe this is like a little too much for the internet and then you just save it in the draft, save it for a rainy day or to never tweet ever again. As for me, you guys know if you follow me on Twitter, uh, if you don't, my username is Beauty Chicky, go and follow me, but if you do, you know that I am the queen of Twitter. I literally run that platform. Twitter is 100% easily my favorite social media app. Just the things that you see and experience on Twitter are like no other. Anyways, because I am on Twitter so much and I'm tweeting so much, obviously I have a lot of tweets that never made the cut. And what do I do when I go to put out a tweet that I'm like, never mind, I save it to the Twitter drafts. And then I create these videos for you guys. So we already did part one of this video, we did part two, and now it is part three. Three, exposing my Twitter drafts. AKA, exposing the tweets that I just decided to never actually tweet. I fucking love doing these videos for you guys. They're so much fun because they don't take a lot of effort and they're fucking funny. At least I think they're funny because I think my tweets are hilarious. And I hope you guys think they're funny also. So with all of that stuff being out of the way and said, I wanna get right into reading these drafts, so. Let the chaos begin. All right, we're gonna go to my Twitter. We're gonna go to the drafts. I got my iced coffee. All right, drafts, let's go. Lately, I've been getting told that I'm a very easy person to talk to. And honestly, that is such a nice compliment. Like, thank you. I'm so happy you feel like you could talk to me easily. Like, I really make you that comfortable. I love that for me. I don't know why I didn't tweet this out, but this is 100% true. This particular draft tweet is from like literally a few days ago. <laughs> But as of lately, everybody new that I have met literally tells me the same exact thing, which is that I'm a very easy to talk to person. And that is like one of the best compliments because I really like strive to make people comfortable with me. I think it's just like when you're vulnerable and like open with a person, like even when you first meet them, that kind of like puts in their mind that they could be comfortable and vulnerable with you right away. So I think that's why people think I'm so easy to talk to because I'm like an open book. But yeah, that is tweet number one. In case anyone was wondering, yes, I am Italian. And yes, I do take five shots of freshly pressed olive oil before bed. We exist. What? I think I was making pasta and I was like drizzling the olive oil in because I put olive oil on everything. I fucking love olive oil. And so I don't know, I just kind of thought of this tweet and I was like this would be hilarious and then I think what happened was like I went to go tweet it and I was like ah this maybe isn't as funny as I thought it was gonna be so I just drafted it however I can tell you guys safely that I do not actually take five shots of olive oil per day but honestly am I opposed to it no if you really wanted me to take shots of olive oil with you I would probably do it. Okay, this one is actually, it was supposed to be me replying to like a conversation that I think I was having with you guys on Twitter. I get a lot of questions about my personal psychic. I see a woman named Catherine at Readings by Catherine on Instagram, and I highly suggest her if you guys are interested in readings. I've gotten several readings from her, all of which have been freakishly accurate. So I don't know why I didn't tweet that out either, but I mean, I was, I, spe I mean, it's very self-explanatory. You guys know by now that I'm very into law of attraction, manifestation, tarot, spiritual things, psychics, all that sort of stuff. I love it. So I do have a personal psychic that I see. Uh, her Instagram is readings by Catherine. Oh my God. Readings by Catherine, if you guys wanna go check her out. She is really awesome. And I started getting readings from her back in like March, I think. Just because I've always wanted to see a psychic before and I never have in my life. So I went to her and oh my God, it was fucking insane. She was telling me things about my life that like I knew that nobody else would know. And then she was also saying extremely freakishly accurate things about my future, some of which have already come true and some of which is supposed to in the near future. So we'll see if that happens. Like she was telling me about like contracts I was gonna sign, relationships with friends, the future of my career. She told me the age that I was gonna peak in my career. I actually do wanna make an entire dedicated video on like my psychic experience experience because it has been seriously crazy. But anyways, that's a story about my uh, my psychic greetings. Some people believe in them, some people don't. I just wanted to get one to see what she would say about me and so far it's been accurate, which has been really, really weird. But anyways, 
Next tweet. I had a really chill night out tonight, but it was so much fun. And it was just like one of those nights that you remember and you're like, wow, I am young and I am living my best life. I swear to God, guys, I've had this like awakening in the past like two months. Ever since I got back to New York City after the, pa well, we're still in the pandemic. <laughs> when I got back to New York City after quarantining with my parents for about three months on Long Island, the past two months that I've been back here, I've been going through this like crazy awakening like it's like I turned 21 and then when I turned 21 I had this like realization in my life I can't even explain it but I've been in like a really fucking good place lately where I have been feeling so like happy and youthful and just like I don't, I don't know I just feel like I've been living my life to its fullest potential and purpose as of lately. So there's like a little, a little sprinkle of how my life has been. But yeah, overall this tweet is totally accurate. I just feel like I've been in a really good place lately and I'm just like, fuck yeah. Thinking about the girl I met in the bathroom last night, she was so chill. I think her name was Leslie. So if your name is Leslie and you live in Queens and you were in the West Village last night, please contact me and let's be best friends. <sighs> Oh my god. You know when you're at like the bar or something and you're like a little drunk and then you just like become friends with all the bitches in the bathroom? That was, that was this night. Basically I wasn't even drinking at this bar, but I went to the bar to use the bathroom. And I go in the basement and I go to the bathroom there and it's me, this girl named Leslie, and then another girl waiting for the bathroom. And I don't even know how we started talking, but we all just like did. And then me and this girl Leslie just like really fucking vibed in this bathroom together. And she it was fucking awesome and then I left and then the next day I woke up and I was like oh my god who was that bitch in the bathroom she was so fucking cool and the only thing I remember is that her name is Leslie and I remember her saying that she lived in Queens so if you're watching this Leslie that lives in Queens and you were in the West Village approximately fuck how long ago was this I don't know but if your name is Leslie and you live in Queens Hit my line. This one says, I'm coming home, baby, and just tags Gregory's coffee. That was when I was driving from Long Island back to my apartment in the city after quarantining with my parents for three months. I said, I'm coming home, baby, Gregory's coffee, which is literally what I am drinking right now. You guys already know how much I love me some Gregory's. Someone please send help. I've had that one song that goes, heart been broke so many times, I, I don't know what to believe. Stuck in my head for about five days now and it won't go away. I literally did have this song stuck in my head for the longest period of time. Mama said it's my fault, it's my fault. I don't know why it was stuck in my head. I just think because of TikTok probably. But that song was stuck in my head for so damn long. My dad decided to make decaf coffee this morning. Like, for what reason? As you guys know, I have an unhealthy obsession with caffeine. And I was at my parents' house. My dad usually makes a pot of coffee in the morning and it's good for him. And then, oh my God, I almost just burped again. The coffee is good for him. And then he leaves some in the pot for me when I wake up and then I have coffee and yeah. And basically he makes coffee one morning. I wake up, I get my coffee and I start to drink it. And I thought it tasted a little different, but I was like, okay, whatever. And then my dad comes down the stairs and he goes, do you taste anything different with the coffee? I was like, actually, yeah, I did taste something different. What did you do? And he goes, it's decaf. I go, why? are you making decaf coffee? I just personally, I personally do not understand the point of decaf coffee. Well, I get it if like you want like the coffee ritual and like you like the taste of coffee, but you don't want the caffeine, I guess. But I don't know, like if I'm waking up in the morning, like I want caffeinated coffee. I just, I don't know, in that moment in time, I just cannot fathom the fact that he made decaf coffee. And it just pushed me enough to want to make a tweet about it and then never tweet it. Now that I have a life coach, I don't know what the fuck I would do without her. She She's that bitch. She calls me out on all my dumb shit and I love it. A fucking queen. This is so true. My life coach, Andrea, I've been working with her for about two months now. And oh my God, I don't know what the fuck I would do without her. Like I'll be talking to her about like some shit going on in my life or what I'm stressed about or whatever. And she will just humble me, bring me back down to earth, figure it out with me logically. And like my life has been so much better and so much more at peace since she has been in it helping me out. So Andrea, if you're watching this right now, I love you. Thank you so much. I want you guys to meet my life coach. I want to make a video with her and I know that she'd be totally down for it. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know below. I just shaved my legs like a day ago and my hair is already back and stubbly. This is bullshit. This 
is just very self-explanatory. My hair grows back so fast. My body hair. Literally, even I shaved maybe two days ago and my legs are already getting like really stubbly and shit. So I gotta shave again tonight and I'm just like, Ugh. I cannot be the only one who does not like CoStar. So many people ask me if I use it and I like it ever since I started talking to you guys about astrology and manifestation because everybody loves the app. But I just hate it, bro. I stopped reading it because it was never accurate and it just had so much repeat content. This so true. Ever since I started talking to you guys about law of attraction, manifestation, astrology, all that stuff, everybody's like, oh my god, do you have CoStar? And I did have CoStar, as everybody else did. I deleted it, though. Because I, like, just started to realize over time, CoStar is shit. Personally, for me, I, like, do not, I don't like the app. I feel like the horoscopes are never accurate. I feel like there's too much repeat content. I just feel like there's so many better astrology apps out there than using CoStar. You guys should really Really try using Astro Seek. Maybe I'll put a link to it below. If you guys are into astrology, try out Astro Seek instead. That website, I feel, is one of the most accurate ones for astrology. Remember to always trust the universe and things will always work out for your higher good. I feel like this is a very nice tweet. I mean, it's totally accurate too. We literally just talked about like astrology and stuff. Now we're going into manifestation. When you're manifesting, you just have to believe in the universe and believe that the universe has your back and that it's gonna do things for you for your higher good. Even if you're really, really really trying to manifest something, it's either that the universe is going to give you exactly what you're manifesting or something better. So you just have to trust that everything's going to work out. I don't know why I didn't tweet this. It's like actually a really good, like positive tweet. Some of these I don't really have like a reason behind why I didn't tweet them out. Anyways, I get tweets every single day that every single brown haired, big nose girl looks like me. I get it. I have a big nose. I understand. Yeah. So if you guys haven't been already been, uh, oh wow. What did I just say? If you guys couldn't already tell. There we go. I got a big schnoz. Ever since I started making YouTube videos, um, actually that's been like one of my like like the hate comment I get the most, I guess. Everyone's like, oh my god, this bitch got a big nose. And I'm like, I know. It used to bother me a lot more when I was younger, but now that like I'm a grown woman and stuff, I'm like, you know what? Like, who the fuck cares? Big nose bitches, unite. But I do get a lot of tweets of people being like, oh my god, you look like this girl. And it's literally because they have brown hair and a slightly bigger nose. And I'm like, Okay. There is nothing wrong with big noses. I mean, personally, I used to hate my big nose, but I've learned to love it and to not give a fuck what other people say about it. Um, yeah. People that say coffee is gross have absolutely no taste. Oh, you don't like the taste? You baby, you fucking child. Tell your taste buds to grow the fuck up. <gasps> oh my God, I should have tweeted this because I simply have to agree with myself. I feel like if you were in your mid-20s and you're like, ew, coffee, like, how are you getting through your days? How could you wake up and just not have a cup of coffee to stimulate you for your day? Long story short, if you don't like coffee, I judge you and you have the taste buds of a three-year-old and you probably only order chicken nuggets off of the kid's menu at 25 years old. Next tweet. Okay, this next tweet is actually in quotes. This is a conversation I had with one of my friends. Maybe tonight we'll have a glass of wine to celebrate your your success. What success? I don't know. I guess you're just hot. I was on FaceTime with one of my best friends. And obviously, as the conversation goes, she's like, yeah, let's just like have a glass of wine tonight to like celebrate. And I go, what are we celebrating? She's like, I don't know. Like we could just celebrate that you're hot. And I'm like, Wow, that's a real ass bitch right there. Just celebrate the fact that you are a beautiful bad bitch. Just had some dude DM me asking me if I needed a boyfriend. This profile picture was a picture of Tony Lopez. LOL, bye. You guys don't know who Tony Lopez is. He's one of those like TikTok boys. And it was like some catfish guy that had like two followers DM me and it was like, hey beautiful, do you need a boyfriend? And he had the profile picture of Tony Lopez. <laughs> Uh, Instagram. Instagram DMs are a really fun place to be. Sorry, quick question. Uh, why do some people think out of their assholes? I think that's self-explanatory enough. And I think we will leave this video off at a tweet that I almost tweeted when I was drunk. So I'm gonna read this to you guys and then I will translate it to sober language. Left the bar without clothing, ya tab, bring a bitch made. So I don't know what I meant by the end of this, but I'm assuming I meant to say I left the bar without closing my tab. And then something about bitch, so probably me calling myself a little bitch. This has happened too many times, um, and it freaks me out every single time. Because I am the most responsible 
person. I am the mom of the friend group. If I go out drinking with my girls, I don't care how drunk I get, I will mother everybody and bring everybody home, make sure everybody has a glass of water before leaving, like on my shit. However, there are certain nights where I get a little, woo, a little, little loose. And then I decide that the entire bars tab is gonna be on my tab. And then I leave and then I say, oh shit, I didn't get my credit card back. And then I get a call from the bar saying, hi, Christina, uh, you left your credit card with us. And then I say, oh my fucking God, I did. And then I have to run back to the bar at five in the morning while I'm drunk to go pick up my credit card and sign off on my tab. So I'm assuming I meant to say something along the lines of, uh, yeah, well, tonight I left my tab at the bar. I forgot to close my tab. And then something about me being a little bitch. And I think that's a good place to conclude this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed my collection of really stupid random tweets. Of course, I will be collecting more Twitter drafts over the coming months. Maybe make a part four if you guys are into this video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you guys like these videos, if you find them funny, because then that lets me know if uh, you want more of them. But anyways, I'm gonna go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are brave enough, leave a comment below of one of your Twitter drafts. I always read the comments after my videos go up. So uh, let's see what you guys got for me But I'm gonna go. I love you all so much I hope you enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click the bell to turn on notifications So you get notified every time I upload a new video Of course go follow me on my social media, which is beauty chicky on every platform ever go check out the really bitchy podcast New episodes every Monday you can stream it on every single platform that you stream podcasts But I will have a link below and of course check out bitchy apparel. It's on fan Enjoy.co dash beauty chicky. Go get some bitchy merch. I love you all so much though, and I'm going to go and just go about my day. Hope you enjoyed the video for the hundredth time, and that is about it. Love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, chickies. Mwah.